follow. Stop. Right a bit. Right a bit. No, up here. Hi. You're probably wondering where I am and what I'm doing. I'm sitting in one of the ancient Caso Oaks at Châtelot Country Park in Hamilton. And the reason I'm up here is because this is where the journey for this tiny little acorn begins. And it's a journey that could last up to a thousand years. And with any luck, this little acorn will eventually grow to become a huge, twisted, gnarled ancient oak like the one I'm sitting in. It's hard to believe that this ancient Cadzo oak is over 600 years old and has a trunk circumference of over 25 feet. When this tree was an acorn, the King of Scotland was Robert the Bruce. But that's not the only amazing thing. There are over 300 of these ancient trees in the woodlands round about Châtelet and some of them are over 800 years old. Although it's thought that these trees were planted as a hunting forest by King David I in the 12th century, 200 years before Robert the Bruce, these trees probably were here thousands of years before and were part of a much larger forest that covered the whole of Scotland. This is a forest that's been mentioned in history by people like Agricola, the Roman governor of Scotland in the 1st century AD, and the court poets to the British kings who tell tales of a wizard called Merlin who lived in these woods as a wild man for many years. I've got to stop doing that. Anyway, over the years, this ancient forest that once covered the whole of Scotland has contracted to getting smaller and smaller and smaller until all that remains is this ancient wooded pasture we have around us and the gorge woodlands of the Clyde, Avon and Nethin and it now represents such a rare habitat type in Scotland that it's been designated as the Clyde Valley Woodlands National Nature Reserve. Each individual ancient oak tree is home to an amazing range of wildlife. In fact, there is a little beetle called the hairy fungus beetle that is found in the ancient Cadzo Oaks and nowhere else in Scotland. That's why these trees are so amazing. Before this little acorn can even start life, it has to avoid the attentions of hungry mice, woodpeckers, jays and squirrels. Down in the log here we have an example of some acorns that have been eaten by great spotted woodpeckers. They've jammed the acorns into a little crevice and it's cracked it open with its really strong beak to get to the nutritious flesh that's inside the acorn. There is a way that we can help this little acorn survive and help this ancient woodland round about us survive so that by the year 3000 there are still ancient trees for people to enjoy. We can collect these seeds from our towns, parks and gardens and plant them out into the countryside so that in future generations everyone can enjoy what we can enjoy at Châtelet here today. If you'd like to help the ancient trees where you live, why not log on to the Woodlands Trust website and get information on the ancient tree hunt. There you'll find details about how to identify old trees, measure them, map them and they'll even give you advice on collecting seeds and bringing on your own tree seedlings. But there's no better way than making a start by coming here to Châtelet Country Park and experiencing these ancient old trees for yourself. Look forward to seeing you. Cheerio!